in our communities here. We have high percentage of people that are diabetic, high blood pressure. If you come into these communities, you will see a lot of liquor stores. Personally, I would like to see more healthy stores so people have more access to buy vegetables, to have fruit. Having that access to healthier foods so their quality of health can change is definitely a big factor. Yo estoy sufriendo el asma. No sé ni por qué, pero es una enfermedad también este, muy fuerte, muy dura, que necesita mucha atención. And people don't have the health insurance. If the clinics are not here, if the funding is not there to care for them, what can we do? The Right to Health committees are made up of community folks uh, that live in South Los Angeles. We have a Right to Health committee that meets every fourth um, Wednesday of the month. The next meeting, like I say, is going to be on August 24th. And I really hope you come out. Aka. The community is coming together. They feel they're just a common person, but a common person has a voice. When they come to the meeting, they get all this information that we provide. They get a lot of support from us. We explain all the benefits to be involved because if you are organized, if you have this committee, they get more knowledge because they, they learn more about their rights. They nos explica nuestros derechos, nuestros problemas, porque es muy importante para mí y para mi, mi comunidad. The people that are in this community are the Right to Health Committee because these are the people who are taking that action and becoming leaders, you know, for their community. Mi nombre es Brenda Catalán. Estoy aquí para servirle a la comunidad y siempre apoyando en estos momentos, verdad, que todas necesitamos porque esto de que estén diciendo de que van a hacer recortes y todo eso como que nos afecta. You know, we're providing them with the information, the statistics about the different the health disparities. And then we go into a general session about what is it that they think that we need to do. You know, what, what steps do we need to take? The vote on the table right now at the federal level is to cut programs like Medi-Cal, Medicaid. If they are eliminated, I don't think that St. John's or anybody is going to be able to subsist. If we're not getting these funds or if we're not standing up for the cuts not to happen, guess what? It won't be a St. John's on 58th and Hoover. Yo creo que otra St. John Clinic no la podría encontrar porque esta es una organización que se ha establecido para ayuda a la comunidad, para la ayuda al que no tiene dinero seguro. No sé y no tengo una respuesta al 100% exacta a dónde iría. Let's find out for the folks who do have medical and for the folks who qualify for medical to keep their health rights. Many times there have been many years that I didn't have um, insurance. We're on the same level, we've been there, done that, and now it's my turn um, to help you get that access. And so basically just, you know, get aggravated about it, be upset about it, So because if you're upset about something, you'll do something you're about it. it. That's our goal, to have the community hold their elected officials accountable but we still have people, you know, that, that fear because they may not have documentation. Is the fear of the unknown and um, just more so of the backlash. What if I do fight for what I believe in, but there's be some kind of negativity towards them. We have to speak up, don't be afraid, because if we don't speak up, then no one is going to hear you. Uh, St. John has the dental, the vision, the healthcare, and the, you know, mental health and we want to keep these services here in the community. You're not doing it alone. You know, you have the support. We're, we're fighting just like you are. We're inviting people from the community to join us uh, to um, create better programs that serve you better in healthcare. And we're also looking for good leaders, leaders that are interested in growing and helping getting the word out. I invite you to come to these meetings and, uh, and just participate, be part, get involved. We don't raise our voices now. Things are not going to change, so we have to be supported to each other and fight for our rights. Pero yo les tendría que invitar a mis amigos a que asistieran para que ellos oigan y entiendan qué es lo que hay que hacer para el futuro, porque todos unidos es la fuerza. Any time that you have, if you set it aside for these community meetings, it'll definitely benefit, be beneficial 
um, because hey, if you don't fight for your right to a better quality of health care, who, who will? will?